yo what is up it's your boy Grizz games coming back at you again with some more bloons tower defense battles it's the card battles you know it you love it i hope uh we're just gonna be skipping that map there gonna be uh, jumping into this white wasteland game if you didn't recognize the maps these are like the white wasteland kind of maps actually i don't know if they do switch up the maps but i feel like they do change them slightly like there's a there's a few that you might find in Ceramic Crucible that you don't find in White Wasteland. But we are kicking it off. I actually quite like having this semi-automatic rifle in the deck. Um, instead of the... Oh, I forgot to ready up there. Sorry. Uh, instead of the... Uh, sabotage Supply Lines uh, Monkey. Because I didn't feel... Like we were really able to get him off too much like it was uh it was it was nice to have but it wasn't really being used uh we are actually just gonna top that out and try it get this focus firing up we are gonna leak just a couple lives but you know I'm not, I'm not gonna lose sleep over two lives so i'm pretty happy with that i'm not gonna aim it directly at the start just in case he does send balloons I kind of want to know but in the meantime oh actually we I don't know if uh, reactor was the best one to pick here in this uh in this match I was just kind of like focusing on the intro a little bit uh, instead of the actual like picking picking everything really like I wasn't wasn't focusing on that at all um, but hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us and hopefully we'll be able to save up he is sending these blues and they're, they're being quite being quite annoying actually there <laughs> there's quite a few of them coming through but we're gonna be sending him the greens and it looks like he's gonna be sending us some greens as well so we're just gonna lightning that and that will take care of all of that. He also lightened our green send, which is a little unfortunate, but you know, what can you do? Uh, he did leak a few lives anyways with, ooh, what? Okay, so he range boost uh, at the end there. I think it was probably because he was a bit scared of these these boosts coming through and he is gonna lightning, but I was, gonna, I was actually thinking about kidnapping uh, his ninja right there just to make him a little bit more scared but he ended up uh using another lightning bolts which i'm not sad about definitely not uh we did forget to use our improved eco boost god damn it <laughs> uh i'm not too sure if i want to be running the uh i can't remember what it's called i almost want to press it just to <laughs> just to find out the name i think it's something along the lines of improved speed boost that's terrible that's a terrible guess <laughs> it's definitely not that but um yeah i'm almost thinking we could just swap out for a sabo power just to get some xp on that because i think that would be slightly better and I think I'm just gonna send these send these whites, put up some pressure on him. Uh, I think he'll he'll be able to deal with them all right, with the uh, the lightning whiz and everything. But I think it'll be nice. It'll be nice just to put that extra bit of pressure. He did end up placing a panic boomer there, so not too shabby forcing that defense out there. And as you saw, his uh, his eco is about 350 us 800 like we're way ahead in eco we just need to make sure we don't lose because we're not focusing on the fence so we'll put a little uh, a little cheeky uh semi-automatic uh sniper rifle there oh he's got the tax as well so that means that our eco is helping him out a bit and we kind of want to improve our eco even more still and try and find our tax. Uh, those leads obviously doing nothing 
absolutely nothing to me with the semi-automatic rifle up and running. Gotta love that card right there. Gotta love it. I don't think these camo leads are really gonna do much. So I think I'm just gonna save up my money a bit and send the whites. Kidnap that and then send the camo leads. That's the idea right there. So his cannon ship will actually <laughs> will actually defeat those uh camo leads, but we do get rid of his last lightning. So that's not too bad. Um I'm, I'm alright with that. I'm alright with that. I was hoping for a little more can't lie, I was hoping for maybe like the, the range boost again, but I'm alright with that. And he does tax us there. Uh, obviously getting quite a bit of our money. But if we just send some more camo lists, because he didn't put too much. Uh, yeah, look, he's just got a range boost. That's not going to do too much with those camo leads. They're still probably going to make it through. And he's going to be... Is he? Did he even send that? I don't even know. The natural balloon start. <laughs> it started like surprising me around like this time around like round 15 onwards I think. It's, I just don't even know what happens. So I don't know what comes out. Uh, oh, we can actually place a reactor down here. It's quite nice. I think... I think we won't do that. We'll actually kidnap that and send them instead and then we'll put the yellows on top as well and hopefully they'll regrow a little bit and cause him to leak oh so he surrendered there you go sometimes it is better to be a bit more offensive than defensive i was going to place that down as a reactor obviously that wouldn't have done much because uh, we were handling pretty much everything with our snipers in the bottom there uh, we will jump into another fight wasteland. I think after this one, we might jump into a ceramic crucible. See if we can test out our skills a little bit. Uh, hopefully I remember. I don't completely zone out like sometimes I do. <laughs> uh, Battle Sands, I'm happy with this. Almost clicked ready. But we do want that trip dart instead. And... Oh, I just, you know what, I'm going to keep that, I'm going to keep it. Sabo powers are nice and all, but I want a damage boost. And it's it makes me feel a lot safer having that as well. Does this even reach there? Oh, it does. Oh, thank God right there, I'm so happy about that. And because he just used a monkey acid, I will be using this round two soon as I can bang there you go round two try to get rid of that monkey acid and I'll get rid of some of that there we go so you're just gonna monkey acid again uh fair enough I wouldn't recommend using monkey acid on just reds especially when you're just gonna leak anyway oh Okay, he's got Bionic Boomer out. Uh, a little early, a little early for that. Obviously his eco is not looking too too hot right now. Uh, my eco also isn't looking too hot. Um, you know, I'm just gonna get this just to make sure that we're all right with a couple of things that he could send. Just cause we weren't finding, oh. I probably shouldn't have used used that just there because like, he's getting he's getting some extra cash off it, which he definitely didn't need to get from me. Uh, we will just wait here for the greens, so about four seconds and should be fine. Nice. So he'll probably be able to defend that like just fine, but it does get rid of the the remaining bits of the monkey acid. And makes me feel a little bit better. I'm going to improve the eco boost here. 
and use attack, see what his uh, eco say, I don't think it's too much. Okay, almost 300, that's fair enough, I'll uh... I think it's a worth tax just to disrupt him. And... I'm just gonna get up another little darling gun here and be absolutely fine with... Most things he could send me, I think. So I think we might, because our eco is better than his, we will let these balloons come out a little bit more before we kill them. Uh, before we pop them even. <laughs> like, balloon safety. Well, it's not even balloon safety if they get popped anyway. <laughs> but we will carry on sending and try and forget about all the balloon lives that have been lost creating this game. It's a sad day. I remember when I was little, I used to love playing with balloons, just the, the helium ones really. But if they weren't helium, you know, kick them about, pretend they're a football. And I was never good at football, so when <laughs> the football is a balloon and it takes about a year to <laughs> get down onto the floor, it's it makes it a whole lot easier, definitely. Uh, we will just send some whites next because I'm not... I think he should be able to handle them. Yeah, he is. Oh, he's going to use a bounty as well. So he's going to get a bunch of money from that. And he's going to damage boost anyway because he... <laughs> he kind of sucks a little bit. Sorry. Um, yeah, it looks like he's going to send a couple balloons our way. But we're going to be able to defend that with ease. I was getting a little nervous. We might leak like one single life there. Like ruin our little perfect record that we've got going on this game at least. But if we could... Actually, he can't deal with uh, camo leads at the moment, so... We'll just try and make this kind of painful for him. Wow, he's going to get a sub down there? That's... Okay, that's interesting. Interesting. Uh, he went for a submarine. Uh, I personally don't like that decision. Don't think it was a, a great one by him. But, you know, each to their own. And he did defend it. He probably... I think he was going to die, actually, so... Fair enough, there's there's easier ways though, there's like, this little monkey apprentice, come on, everyone's got to run this monkey apprentice. Don't know why you wouldn't run it. So, oh, I forgot to eco boost earlier, that's terrible. But this game does seem to be dragging on a little bit, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, he just used attacks, so yeah, we just waited a couple seconds just before we used that. <laughs> last one not that it made much difference but it's always nice to know that you're not giving them absolutely everything so we actually have quite a lot of the lightning wizards and it seems to be helping us out quite a bit because we only oh, we only leaked one life but we did lose that little perfect record we had going on very sad that we lost that but you know what it's not too bad it's not over at least we didn't die or anything so it is absolutely fine and we get the sniper monkey up just to make sure we're all right we're just gonna wait a sec here just uh kidnap that so I'm, I'm assuming he's gonna rush in a sec but maybe not and um, we're gonna kidnap that there we go so he should just go down here uh, to those camo leads yeah he's gone he's gone it was a bit of a rough game for him, 
a uh, bit of a, I want to say an easy game for us. Because we did kind of just chill there. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, Freddy. But that means we are feeling confident enough to go into some ceramic crucible. And I cannot believe it. Two wins in a row to start the video off. I don't think that has happened for the longest time. I mean, maybe it's happened in like maybe one or two of the recent videos, but honestly, like the past like 10 I've put out, it, there's been a lot of losses. Like, <laughs> at least no one can hate on me for not posting losses. Like, I've, I'm gonna post it all. <laughs> it's probably the wins that you guys are wanting me to post, and I'm telling you. They don't happen that often, so it's uh, it's a little difficult for me to post them. But I guess that's just what happens when you uh, when you're trying to upload every game. Because at the moment I'm just playing, and the only way to make me feel like I'm not like just kind of running my day away is just to record as well to make it kind of kind of productive. Or like semi-productive <laughs> and we do come up against a pretty decent player here although I'm sure anyone who looks at my record probably thinks oh my days this guy ceramic crucible he's oh I was oh 73 percent pretty decent but you know what I'm a bit more scared of this 58 percent <laughs> and we will skip Swan Lake I, I was not feeling that and we'll just ready up for this. So hopefully this game is a decent one. Kind of looking for a, a longer game, hopefully. Because I don't mind losing long games. Because I know that it wasn't like a, what well, usually anyway, isn't a silly mistake that I've lost to. Oh, I didn't even... I was not paying attention to whatever power he just used. It had to have been an eco power. Was it eco amplifier? But why? Why? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe this guy uh, isn't as good as I think. Or maybe he just misclicked a power, who knows. It happens. Definitely happened. Eco amp oh, it was just Eco Amplifier. What's he saving up for? Because that definitely doesn't cost that much. Like, I'm bet. Oh, I'm, I'm nervous. Oh, Plantation. Jeez. So, that's... Oh, I'm just I'm expecting a Republic to come out soon. You know, it's I'm not I'm not expecting anything good to be happening For us, uh, I think we will be able to just defend this with ease But I will eco boost and That's not a bad idea actually eco amplifier with the plantation That is not a bad idea uh, that is definitely something I will try to remember uh, for if we ever unlock Eco Amplifier and if we're ever able to kind of try and make a I guess because his, his deck must be a late game deck uh, so this is where the, the balloon sabotage supply lines you know the, the ninja this is where it would come in handy in a late game scenario like this which is what I think this is going to turn into anyway mm, not too sure what to do here I kind of want to keep most of this but I will tax him just to check on his money 310 not really worth taxing uh, not exactly the best thing to be getting just, just 310 for attacks uh, but I wasn't expecting him to have too much anyway just because he is using the plantation ok 
Yeah, I might just get rid of that tax. Forget about it. And we don't have any lead detection, but we do need to pop these, so we just got up another darling gunner anyway. And yeah, we'll just continue just kind of semi stooling out this <laughs> these rounds uh, as soon as yeah round 14 hit just grab that put that up in the corner so he doesn't see it put it on strong and we'll be fine we will be fine and uh, we'll just get our eco up a bit more he does have a republic just a little uh, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. But we'll force a bit of defense here. Because uh, we'll just take away his uh, his camo lead detection. He gets up a fire whiz. I'm fine with that. He spent quite a lot of money getting that fire whiz up. Uh, I'll send a tax over his way. See how much eco he's cooking with. 430. It's, I mean, it's worth its attacks. It's worth its attacks, definitely. It's just not that. I don't know, because the the Republic. I don't know how much that really equates to. But in any case, we'll get up another sniper monkey, and we'll just we'll just chill. We'll kind of aim our our darling gunner down here to make it look like we're killing everything instantly with the darling gunners. And we'll just focus on getting some more eco up. Oh my days, I wanted to juggle. I don't think we would have survived anyway. Our, our defense was pretty shit. Let's, let's not lie about that. Our defense was pretty shit. Uh, fair play to that guy. He had a bit of a later game deck and then he was just like, this guy is not doing anything. So he just took me out early anyway uh kind of kind of deep for us there but we do come up against a probably a guy a little bit more on <laughs> our speed uh so he's no prestige rank which means he's probably just been losing a little bit more than he's winning which obviously he is uh <laughs> his record says anyway don't want to be playing snowy castle though not a big fan of the map offside i do like that map I do like that map definitely. Uh, I think it's got a great little trip dart spot right there. Uh, it's long enough that the uh, Darling Gunner is still pretty good as well. Are you ready for phase one? But it's not crazy long, so like this white actually it is it's quite long actually. He's gonna instant red hot spikes. That just gives me so much more confidence about this game. <laughs> But yeah, he does instant red hot spikes. And we will just place down a casual dart monkey. He does have the dartling gunner down, which is unfortunate for us, but it's whatever. You know, what can you do? Uh, <laughs> the answer is not much, by the way. And <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll just sit here, save up for the greens. And that's what I like about this deck. You just... Like I'm just sitting back, I'm relaxing, I'm chilling. Like hands off the keyboard, hands off the mouse, everything. Uh, not that I even use the keyboard for for boons. Like I probably should. It probably make things a little easier, a little quicker. But I don't. I don't at the moment. So I'm just chilling here, waiting for some money. And we should have it in about six seconds. He used an eco boost, not even an improved eco boost. I think round five, I'm just gonna match it. Yeah, just use an improved eco boost just to make sure that we have more money than him because he does use a bounty right there, which is gonna put him a bit further ahead than, uh, than us, I think, because that is a lot of money that he probably just got there. He does boost though, I don't. 
really don't think he needed to boost. Uh, that was that was definitely some overkill right there. Uh, we're gonna place down this intense. It's not even intense. It's just a monkey apprentice. Just a chilled out monkey apprentice. No intense about it. Uh, we could keep that to be fair. I mean, we'll use attacks just to check what his eco is saying. 329, so we're ahead in the eco uh, department and just kind of chilling. Just chilling. I love it. Actually, love it. I like his. Uh, I like his spot. His uh, darling on a spot like roughly like down here kind of thing. Uh, so I think I'm gonna do the same thing actually. And put ours like kind of down there. And I think just when round ten hits, kidnap his darling gun, send out these whites, and try not to forget to eco. To eco boost even obviously we are not forgetting to eco uh actually i'm gonna get rid of this that little uh flash bomb that's what it is sorry it took me so long to think about that uh we're gonna get rid of the flash bomb just to hopefully get ready for round 14 hopefully he doesn't ah oh, okay so he does he places down a different tower that can take out camo leads uh, we currently don't have a tower that can take down camo leads, so we will get one up right now. Yeah. Uh, make sure not to. Ooh. Kidnap, then camo leads. That's looking decent to me right there. Send some. Send some just casual, casual balloons off that. Not really much money for anything else. Uh, he's just going to boost, but that's not going to do anything. Oh, he's got balloon trap down. Oh my days. 11. I didn't think he was going to get that low. But geez, he put a balloon trap in a really bad spot there. I think it's a bit of a rubbish spot. But we will eco boost and try to just get some uh get some more money in our pockets because that's the only way i see us losing here if he is on point with his uh balloon trap which he might not be i'm thinking this rush could get him the whites with the zebras after and my thinking behind that is just because if he's not quick on the balloon trap then he's done if they even make it to the balloon trap jesus and they don't even make it to the balloon trap oh my okay 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 so he's just gonna get money from that balloon trap it's whatever it's whatever okay I'll uh, I'll just I'll hold that out for a little bit. That's that's fine. That's <laughs> that's whatever. Um, we will get our defense up a little more, just cause ours is lacking, and I don't want to be taken down by some dead little rush just cause uh, we forgot to put down a couple extra towers for some defense. We stand together, united as one. Forward on we go. Yeah, he has. He does have quite a bit of uh, defense going on now. I'm, I'm pretty sure he can't defend seven BFBs, but it's if he rushes us, when we do this, when we send those BFBs, it's, it's over for us. It's over. But his defense against any Moabs is just trash, absolute trash. And this is where I would want a different kind of. Moab sending card. I think we gotta do it. I think we gotta do it, boys. Just, just see, just see. If he tries to defend it, he's done. He's done. There's no way he defends that. No way. No way. He's gonna use bounty. He's gonna try defend this. I, I can. Ah. Oh. 
Oh my, if he does defend it, I'm out. I'm out because there is no way I get an... Oh my lord. Is that... Is that actually... The chipper right there. Oh my days, for a second then I actually thought we lost because I saw all those ceramics and I started... I started panicking. Oh my days. Okay, okay, okay. That's... I was gonna say good game. I was gonna say good game. But whatever, whatever. I'm... Oh, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay, so started off with two wins. Obviously, they were just white wasteland wins. Like, let's not... Let's not kid ourselves here. But we go 1-1 in Ceramic Crucible. I'm happy with that. I'm happy. Definitely. Oh my, we're, we're 40 medallions up, I think, today. That's, uh, mm, you know, when I put it like that, I get a little less happy. <laughs> I get a little less happy. But you know what? We are up and we're not down any medallions. We are in the positive and that's all that matters, I think. Um, so I'm definitely happy about that. And so I'm going to leave that one there. And if you if you liked, then like the video, definitely. And if you want to see some more, then subscribe and check out the playlist if you haven't. I got all these uh, all these card battles in a card battle playlist. So you can just leave that running if you want. You just, you just put it on the first video, just leave it running, you know, maybe AFK if you, or <laughs> from your computer. Just uh, give me a couple of views there. But if not, it's all good. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.